undeniable that the most influential book of all of history is none other than God's Word. But the second most influential book was one that was written by a man called John Bunyan. We know that book to be called Pilgrim's Progress, a book that has influenced the lives of millions even unto this day. But Mr. Bunyan wasn't always so influential. He wasn't always so godly. In fact, he was once living a life of sin and brought beneath great conviction by the Spirit of God. It was one day while thinking about the conviction that was upon his heart that God brought him to himself. He wrote about his own con conversion. I walked to a neighboring town and sat upon a settle in the street and fell into a very deep pause about the most fearful state my sin had brought me to. And after long musing, I lifted up my head but methought I saw as if the sun that shineth in the heavens did grudge to give me light, and as if the very stones in the street and tiles upon the houses did band themselves against me. Methought that they all combined together to banish me out of the world. I was abhorred of them, and unfit to dwell among them, because I had sinned against the Savior. Oh, how happy now was every creature over me, for they stood fast and kept their station, but I was gone at last. And it was while he was in this hopeless condition that the light of the glorious gospel finally broke through. This scripture, he says, did most sweetly visit my soul. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Oh, what did I now see in that blessed sixth of John? Oh, the comfort that I had from this word. What a passage of scripture that all that cometh to Jesus Christ shall in no wise be cast out. If you're watching today and you do not know the Savior, let these words bring comfort to your soul. If you only come to Him, He will not cast you out. May this be the theme of our preaching and of our, and of our testifying today, that if they would only come to the Savior, if the lost would only come to Him, they would never be turned away. These words became the theme of John Bunyan's preaching and writings, and they are found in the very opening scenes of Pilgrim's Progress. You remember Christian was on his way, trying to find a way to get this burden off of his back, and he was directed by evangelists to that little gate, that little tiny wicket gate. And as he approached the gate, he banged upon that gate with all of his heart, hoping and pleading that that door would be opened unto him. And the reply that he heard was one that brought relief to his soul. I am willing with all my heart, replied Goodwill, the keeper of the gate. We make no objections against any. Notwithstanding all that they have done before they come hither, they are in no wise cast out. And may those words bring comfort to your soul as well today.